it's Jennifer here. So today I was um, starting to stitch my fabric onto the stretcher bars that I made the other day. And I realized when I sat down to do this that it is not as easy as it seems at all. So I, I did get one done. And what I had to do is I drew a line on the stuff to make it straight. And um, my Ada fabric was really straight here. And so what I thought I would do is show you step by step what I did so that, and it made it really easy and it wasn't difficult at all. And I can show you guys how to do it too, because when you sit down and this thing's rolling around and your fabric's flopping all over, it's very daunting. And you're like, how do you do this? I figured out a way to do it. That's not too difficult. It's pretty easy. So one thing you want to figure out is how you want your, um, your stitching to lie. So here on the front, I don't know if you can, you can kind of see, I have some lines drawn because this is the full coverage piece that I'm doing. I'm making a footstool for the um, Fiber Talk Meditate stitching with um, Avlia Designs, Avlia Modern Folk Embroidery, the um, basket weave design. I'm making a footstool cover. So these corners here, I'm not going to stitch in here because this is the side, like this part's the side of the footstool and this is the side and these will be folded in and these two edges will be sewn together. So I don't need to stitch in here. So anyway, I drew it on here and the way that I want to stitch is I want to stitch in the well, which means I'm going to roll my fabric so that it sits under and then when I roll it over here, the back side will be here so that I won't be touching the front of my project on the outside whenever you roll it. The front will be protected in here and the back part will be here. Not too important for a footstool, but whenever you're doing, you know, big cross stitch and stuff and using silk, it's a good thing to think about. So it's called stitching in the well. So and it's kind of opposite of what you would normally do whenever you use a hoop. On a hoop, it goes over. Stitching in a well, I'm gonna go under. So whenever you do that, you have to think about how your fabric is going to attach. And as you can see, it's gonna roll like this. So that's how I have it attached. So it rolls like that. Okay, so. I've got that situated. Another thing I did is on my bars, I marked the center of the bar. And then I marked, where is it? Well, I marked my center of my fabric, but I can't see the spot that I marked anymore. It might have, oh, it rubbed, oh, there it is, it's hiding. <laughs> it was hiding under this piece of thread. And then I marked the center of the fabric and then I, you know, lined them up so that it's in the center. There, you can kind of see it if I go like that. There, it's pretty good. Centered it up and then on, you know, the other side I'm doing the same. So let me get this situated here. So one thing that made it a lot easier, if you look closely at the twill tape, you can see there are lines. So what I did, instead of keep trying to eyeball that line, which I was trying to do and it was driving me crazy, what I did is I got a Pigma pen, which a lot of cute quilters use to write, um, when you write labels and stuff, you use the, the Pigma pen. And it's archival, it won't transfer. And I, it's about the half inch mark this half inch line. I went along and drew the line. So I'm gonna do that now. Go gently along. And it doesn't have to be very dark. And it, you know, I may wobble a little, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my line marked. And another thing that I realized, so let me make sure I have my fabric and my bar lined up the way that I want it to, so it will roll the way I want it to roll. And I want it to roll like this. 
So what I do though, is I'm gonna sew from the back side. Flip it over. And on the back side here, I have my, my halfway mark marked. So what the key for me was, was to put the sidebars on. I think they're called spacer bars. If you put the sidebars on and you hook it down with the wing nut, you can keep your, your roll from rolling all over the place, the bar from rolling, which was the biggest problem I was having is it just kept rolling all over and it was driving me crazy. These are really long and it's gonna go out of the camera shot. So, okay, so now I have my stabilizing on the side and you can loosen this a little so that you can rotate it a little, but it gives a lot more control so that it's just not flopping all over the place. Okay, so then what I did is I have my handy hand dandy pin cushion here with all my pins. So I found my center spot here and I found my center spot here another thing that helped that's right having it hang out over the edge of the table so that your hand can go underneath here and that's another thing that the bars help with because they can sit on the edge of the table and you can pull this out that was my other big key thing So I get it lined up. You also need to make sure that the edge of your fabric is exactly perfectly straight. This is Ada, 14 count Ada. So it was pretty easy to make this really straight and cut off all the little burrs and everything on the end. And with linen, you can get it perfectly straight. It takes a little bit more work. You also might with linen, since it's kind of floppy, you could use a little bit of best press, you know, just along the edge here. It's not gonna be part of the finished product. And make it firmer and easier to handle during this process. So what you do is you line up your center lines and then you line up the edge of the fabric with the little line here. You line up the edge of the fabric with the line that you drew, the twill tape, and you put a pin in it. Like that. And we're gonna go along and don't pull or anything, just kind of lay it down on there, make sure it's firm, but don't tug because the edges of fabric can flare out if you tug on it and it'll make it uneven. So you just want to be firm and straight without doing extra tugging so you don't flare out the edges. You go along, all the way along the edge, and you pin it down. Matching up the edge of your fabric with the line that you drew on the tool tape. All right, so I've got all the edges pinned down. And now what I'm using to sew it down is some just heavy duty hand quilting thread. And um, pink, because pink's pretty. And I just tie a knot in the end. Okay. And I'm gonna start at the end. And Ada is really simple because you've already got these lovely dots to follow. And I am, st I, starting doing it right in the middle. So that's at like three holes down from the top, which is right in the middle of the area between the twill tape. And I put a knot and it kind of went through, but I'm gonna go over it a couple times. It'll secure it just fine. Okay, and then I'm just doing, what I'm doing is a back stitch, but like a longer back stitch. I'm going up here, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down two. And then I'm going to go all the way over here. Come up here. Up 
And I'm going to go down this one. I'm going to go over. And I'm just doing it with a space there. Just, I don't know, it looks pretty. No reason, really. I just thought it looked nice. So now it's time to get a new piece of thread. So I just did a back stitch and I'm going to come back up in the same hole here. Oops. I'm going to take a little bite of the aid of fabric on each side there. Pull it up. I'm going to go through the loop twice. Pull it up, make a little knot, snip it up, <laughs> all right, so then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to come up one away. I'm going to go back down through the same hole. And I'm going to go to my normal, start my normal pace of stitching back. And I am using a pointy needle. I'm using a size 24 chenille needle, which is basically the same thing as a cross stitch or tapestry needle, but pointy. The pokey end, that, what, that's why I can go through the twill tape and the Ada fabric easier. Finally, that's a long one, got it done. So it's all stitched on. Loosen this up, loosen this up. So when we look at it on the back side, you can see that long running stitch that I've got going along. And it's really secure and we're gonna roll it up all right so that's how I sewed it on and made it a little bit easier a lot a lot easier actually I did not know how this was gonna work out so let's see if I can get video of me rolling it. I'm going to start here and I'm going to roll it and there's a little bit of a phalange there. If you kind of roll it over, give it a little tug and smooth it down. It'll smooth down that little edge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it up. wing nuts on these ones too.
right, so this part's kind of loose and we want it to be tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to So I'm going to start rolling from the top part here to see if I can make it tight. done this before. This is, this is a first. Okay. So then it's all floppy there and then I'm going to roll this part. from it being rolled in the tube. So there we have it. I've got my Ada on my stretcher bars. There's the outline for my design area. And I am ready to go. Meditative stitching is going to be on Sundays at 2 o'clock Eastern time until through um, the weekend before Thanksgiving. So every Sunday at two o'clock in the afternoon, we are going to get together live on Fiber Talk YouTube channel, and we are going to meditative stitch. There will be some breathing exercises from a yoga teacher. There'll be some stretching exercises for your hands and shoulders and neck, and we'll have some quiet stitching time. And then we will also do some questions and answers and maybe a little bit of sharing and stuff. And um, yep, so that's what it's going to be. I'm excited to get started. All right, talk to you later, bye.